Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I wanted to give you guys my summary of how Verizon and Sprint performed on my trip to Phoenix and San Diego. I know I told you guys I wanted to do some speed testing, but in the busy crowds where I was at, it was just too loud. So I decided to give you guys a summary. So of course I traveled from El Paso on I-10 and as soon as I got into New Mexico, all of Sprint's PCS holdings on band 25 went from 5 megahertz to a full 10 megahertz. So on that on that stretch, Sprint did fine. Um, if you want to check out some of the posts that I did on Instagram, I will leave my Instagram information in the description down below. I posted some speed tests on Instagram using Sprint's band 25 on at 10 megahertz, and I got. I believe you remember like 46 megabits down and close to 20 megabits up. So Sprint performed well on that stretch and Verizon, of course, they performed well as well. So once I got outside of Las Cruces, closer to Deming, New Mexico, Sprint started to struggle. There was a lot of roaming on 1X with Verizon and a lot of 3G for about, I want to say 30 to 45 miles. After that, getting closer to Arizona, Sprint did everything band 25 at 10 megahertz sprint overall did well verizon did you know i performed them of course overall it was pretty much everything band 13 and lte the entire way for verizon although verizon had some drops to 3g and 1x on the trip where sprint performed well with lte so another thing that I did notice is that Sprint didn't cover any of the stretch with band 26. So Sprint had to invest a bit more covering it with band 25. As most of you now know, low band does reach much further than mid band. So Sprint had to invest in a couple of more towers to cover that stretch. But once I got closer to Arizona, Tucson, everything was covered that entire way all the way to Phoenix with band 25. And once I got closer to Phoenix, everything started being covered by band 41. So this speed test that you see here on the screen is Verizon. I was at the Phoenix versus Houston game on Thursday at 8.30. It was a televised game on TNT. Early on, as you can see, Verizon didn't do too well, which my thinking is that everyone in there has Verizon. Usually it's either a ratio of two or three to one against Sprint. So this is how Verizon performed at the beginning of the game. And this is how Sprint performed at the beginning of the game. So Sprint did very well during the game. Also, I only stayed till halftime. It was a complete blowout. If you saw the game, it was like 90 to 62 at halftime. Houston ended up scoring close to 150 points. So there wasn't any defense played, no competition. So I ended up leaving at halftime. But Sprint performed well during the game. Verizon struggled. It was completely um, constant switching, band 2, band 4, band 13. Sprint maintained band 41 the entire game. And at the beginning of the game, I got this during the game. I was around 50 and 70 megabits per second. So Sprint did well during the game. Next, I was in Scottsdale, Arizona. I did some testing there. This is Verizon. So they, they performed very well in Scottsdale. Also, this is Sprint in Scottsdale. Sprint performs well there too. So I gotta say Sprint made a heavy investment into Phoenix. All of their sites are running three channel carry aggregation and they run a pretty dense network there too. Lots of small sales were spotted. Now next on the trip to uh, San Diego, Interstate 8, Sprint band 25 the whole way and Verizon band 13 the whole way now sprint started to struggle as I got closer to San Diego through the mountains If you've been on that trip before through those mountains Verizon maintained band 13 Sprint was roaming on Verizon's 1x once I got through those mountains. It was all band 41 pretty much from going into San Diego now in San Diego Phoenix Sprint did much better and at times honestly they outperformed Verizon in Glendale in San Diego that was a completely different story Verizon completely uh, dominated that market I was downtown San Diego I hardly ever saw the DBMs go above 80 for Verizon Sprint was a constant drop from band 41 to band 25 so 
definitely saw a lot of good things saw a lot of uh, bad things as well sprint still struggling a bit in san diego doing a lot better in phoenix with also another thing phoenix does have band 26 now so that helps sprint cover a lot more areas in san diego i did see a couple of th uh, drops to 3g which I, I will have to do some more research as to why sprint doesn't have band 26 there yet but phoenix sprint is very good and they also show it with a lot more marketing I, I, I didn't see any marketing in san diego in phoenix i saw a lot more billboards of sprint advertising their five for 90 or four for 20 whatever it is they were advertising that and i saw a lot of large boost mobile posters so still a lot of work to do for sprint but verizon was solid pretty much the entire trip and they were just I mean, out of this world in San Diego, rock solid there, just very dense network in San Diego. I was getting 70 to 80 every time I ran a speed test, no matter where I went. So just wanted to make that trip for you guys. The next one, I'll, I'll have a much better setup. I'm still working on a lot of stuff. As you guys know, YouTube really, you know, doesn't pay that much. So I'm, I'm saving up and I'm trying to figure some stuff out. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.